one of our collaboration last Friday, then you're totally in the loop as to what's happening. But this is Rachel Class. She is one of my very good friends. She has a blog called pinksway.net. <laughs> And she is a professional ballroom dancer and she is the current Australian champion. Yeah. <laughs> and anyway, she's going to do my hair today and show you guys how to do a nice ballroom dancing hairstyle. Yes. So let's get straight into it. Okay, to start off with, I'm just going to brush through Rachel's hair. So usually I like to just section off... Um, the front parts first so that it's uh, I've got some two parts to work with that I can kind of wrap into the bun and then I do the bun and then I go back to those sections of the front okay so we're just gonna part down the middle of Rachel's head first okay, so I'm just gonna follow from the middle of Rachel's nose all the way up her forehead and then that will help me with my part I'm gonna section this part now into two sections I'm taking the end of the comb and taking it all the way to her ear. Okay, we're just gonna hold that out of the way for now. We're gonna have two little pippy long stockings. Yay! <laughs> Try and get the same thickness of the section and making sure that you get a nice straight line. Okay, so now that that's uh, done, we've got our two sections out of the way, then we can get started on creating the bun. Let's see. So first of all, I'm just gonna comb all the hair into my and then I'm going to grab some hairspray. Boom. Boom. The party started. We started. We've <laughs> <it> up with <laughs> champagne. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to take the hairspray and we're just going to go down the length of the hair. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. And then we're going to get the comb and just pull it all smoothly. Once you've got it relatively smooth, we're gonna grab a hair tie. If you've got thick hair, I would say to use two hair ties and make sure that they are heavy duty. Okay, so I'm gonna use one of these. What you can see is like it's a hair lackey with two hooks on either end. If you can get your hands on these, I would say do that because they are lifesavers. So if Rachel's hair was really thick and I was having a hard time getting it smooth, I would go in with a hair dryer and I would just keep applying hairspray and combing it toward the lackey and then going over with a hair dryer. But today, it's been very cooperative. Yay! So I'm just going to go in with the hair tie. So what you do is you apply the hook into the hair in front of the lackey and then you just wrap. And the good thing about this is you can get a really tight hole on the hair. And then you keep wrapping and then you hook it in to the bottom of the hair. So that just really secures it. We're going to tease the ponytail. So you're just going to back comb it to however big or small you want your bun. I think bigger is always better. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> um, especially when it comes to ballroom dancing. So for us little gals out there, we need like our hair to be big. Yeah. So I'm just gonna tease it up as much as I can and then just pop a little bit of spray and then go back and tease a little bit more underneath. And what the spray does is just holds that tease when you apply hairnet on top. Because a lot of the time, if you just tease it and then put the hairnet on, then the hair just starts to kind of collapse in the net. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with a hairnet. Um, try and grab hairnets that have like smaller holes. So you can see this one has smaller holes. I don't know if you can see or not. <laughs> um, that just means that no sort of flyaways or ends of the hair can come through. We're just gonna put it on top, pull the hair through. This is quite a big hairnet, so just wondering. I'm gonna wrap it around twice and then just secure it with a pin. Well, I'm just 
pulling the hair and smoothing it out into the net so that we've got like a really nice little bun to work with. Okay, now. Yeah. Now to just play around with the shape and decide how you want the shape to be. So you can push it up and this creates like quite a low sort of bun. So it goes quite low onto the nape of the neck, like so. Not doing a very good job of showing that, like so. Okay, so you it mm -hmm. so I can show. So what I'm doing with Rachel's hair is I'm just looping it under and then I'm pulling the little tail end here over the top and I'm just going to pin it like so. So you can kind of see there. It's like a little scroll. Mm, I love scrolls. Scrolls. Vegemite scrolls. Yeah, so these pins are open at the bottom. I think they're called hair pins. Yeah, I think they're hair pins. And I'm just taking them and I'm just going to loosely kind of pin them around the shape. Okay, so now I'm just pinning around the other side and I'm just getting quite low into the nape of Rachel's neck. So with those pins, you want to try and angle them a bit more upwards so they can have something to grip onto. Okay, once you're happy with the shape, give it a spray. And if you find that when you spray, you can see little kind of makes the net look like a spider web. I just <laughs> get a pin and I just kind of tap the spray into the bun and the hair so that it looks seamless. So we want the line of the bun to kind of follow down the sides here of Rachel's uh, hairline all the way down to the nape of her neck. Um, I think today, because Rachel's hair is not too long either, we can just get away with the one section and that'll just give it a really like elegant sort of look as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to comb the hair sort of slightly into the position where we want it to go. So I like to do this first without any product in the hair so that I can have a little look as to how it's going to sit. I want to pull the hair and then have it kind of sitting over the bun like so. So we're combing the hair, we're going to roughly pay, place it into position. Then I'm going to go in with some hairspray following the line of the hair and then smoothing with my hand. Don't worry about any flyaways at the front at this stage because we'll come back to those. You can see I've pulled the hair across the top of the bun. That's where we can no longer see those pins. And I'm just going to roughly twist the ends of the hair so that when it comes to pinning, it's a little bit easier. So just pin into the bun. Just come in with some hairspray at this point so it's nice and secure. Don't worry about this little tail at the moment. We will find him a home. And now I'm just going to smooth off the front of Rachel's hair. Be careful with the comb though because if the hair is already tacky then you might start to pull it too tight. And then you'll get lumps and bumps. We don't want that. So just be very careful with the comb at this point. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Just getting all the flyaways around here because we don't want that. Uh, you can use the back of the comb here to get it really smooth. Again, this is where if you want it to be quick, you can either Blow, and then it dries quicker or you can use a hairdryer. Yeah, so before I tackle this little tail, I'm going to move on to the other side 
so that I can make both sides even. Okay, we've done our switcheroo. <laughs> now we're gonna do. <laughs> now we're gonna do the right side. So again, same as the left. I'm just combing the hair first, and then I'm just going to roughly place the hair where I think it looks best, and have a check. And then I go in with getting it all sprayed and smooth. So I'm just brushing into position, grabbing some spray, following the hair, and then just roughly smoothing that down with my hand. And then the same as the other side, I'm just twisting the end so that I can pin this way. So they kind of even, you can see we've got the same amount of distance on both sides. We don't want this one to be coming too close to the middle because then they look uneven. We want symmetry. Now that it's pinned in position, we can work on the flyaways. Here I'm just covering this bit with a fair amount of spray so that it's almost glued on top of the other twist so that it's not going to move around. Okay, so now that I've sprayed the back and we're all smooth, we're gonna then move to the front or the side and just get rid of these ones here, these guys. See you, bye. So would you ever use um, hair gel instead of hairspray? Because I don't, I personally don't use gel. I, I'm in a bit of two minds about hair gel. So I've used it recently, but it changes the color of my hair so much. So because my hair is quite red, I did use gel just recently it looks um, black. and everyone thought that I dyed my hair black. <laughs> I got all these messages like, oh, have you dyed your hair black? I love it. <laughs> like, no, 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 it's still red, guys. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and they were like, well, either way. <laughs> you know, either way, you're good beautiful. Safe, good yeah. safe. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, uh, gel I think is okay if your hair is quite dark, but if you're blonde or like me with red hair, it is going to change the color of your hair and make it darker. So whenever I was blonde, I really stayed away from gel. Because it makes it like a gray color, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it makes it really dark. And also, it takes such a long time for the gel to kind of set. Yeah. So I found with gel, because my hair is so fine, especially around my face, if I used gel, it would just like take away all the volume and I would look like I had five strands of hair <laughs> <laughs> in my whole head. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to tuck one side underneath the bun and then the other side I might pull a few of the strands and then make a few swirl patterns on the bun. I'm going to pin the left hand side down so you can see here it's still following the line of Rachel's hairline. I'm not kind of pinning it out here somewhere or too close to the bun. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this tail now and I'm gonna really coat it in the hairspray. Before I go in with my hairdryer, I'm going to just go over those little wet bits with a comb or a pin like I'm using now and just really brush them in first. If I didn't, that's when we're gonna get the spider web effect which is not really ideal okay so now I'm going in with a hairdryer on low so I just hair dried over this part of hair so that now it's really glued to the bun and then if you wanted to make it even more solid you could do a couple of coats and then just go back in with the hairdryer little tail what we're going to do is we're going to curl it into some small swoops I think around the bun and we're going to try and just cover the hairnet because not that that you not that you'll see the hairnet but it's always nice to kind of cover the bun with smooth hair I feel before I do anything though I'm just going to pin a little pin underneath here so that both pieces of hair join together. Rachel's hair is already kind of separating into a few little sections here when it's fanned out. I'm going to start with the outermost section first or 
the section closest to the bun and I'm just going to kind of see where I want to place it and then hairspray and pin it. So once I've found where I want it to sit I just loosely pop a pin. Pop a mint. Pop a mint. That's Christian, <laughs> Christian Bauer. Yeah, yeah sure. Mint. Pop a mint. <laughs> So I'm going to just pop a pin there so it's just loosely holding it. I don't want the pin to go into the bun because I don't want it to change the shape of the bun. But I just want it to loosely hold this piece of hair. Now I'm going to spray that as the pin's holding it for me. And I'm going to really coat it again in hairspray because I want it to be wet so that I can really smooth it down like so. Once you're happy with the shape, use the hairdryer. <laughs> I want to then pin the tail of this part into the swoop. Up there, so now it's hiding under this section of hair. Then we can remove this guy. Okay, now let's move on to the next part. So, I'm just going to spray this now. This is a lot of spray. It all becomes one section. Now, this is where you want to go in with some more pins and make sure that it's really sturdy now that it's dry. Because when it's wet, it's easy for it to just kind of move around um, and not hold but once it's dry you've got like it's almost like your hair is plastic basically and that's what we like <laughs> that's what we want we, we want, want <laughs> barbies <Yeah. laughs> so we want it to be like really really stiff so that when i put the pins in it's going to stay there now it's just time to go through all of the little flyaways and hairspray and hair dry them down another good trick that i've seen is if you have some flyaways up here for instance and you don't want to use your hands or you don't have a comb you can use your hairspray lid so i can just spray here for a second ways down it's such a simple trick that you would never think of i know i just saw some girl doing it once at a comp and i was like good idea actually the guy was doing it to the girl oh partner probably because he didn't want to get hairspray yeah he was this <laughs> So that is the end of Rachel's tutorial. She did such a good job. I absolutely love it. It feels super secure. Thank you so much for being on my channel and doing my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out Rachel's blog. She is going to have a post that's linked with this hairstyle and boring dancing hairstyles in general. A few tips and tricks, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, you're not going to hear anything now. <laughs> or you are. Or you are going to hear me. <laughs> oh, our lights haven't been on the whole time. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, <Dad. laughs> I'm just like burning your neck off. Sorry. Burn, baby. Burn. After I've burnt, Rachel. I'm just going to take the tail end of the comb and give it a good spray. Going to take the tail end of the comb and give it a good dry. <laughs> I never noticed that. Now we need to just sort out these little handlebars. That scared the crap out of me. Dum dum dum. I felt like I heard, like felt you jump there. And then just... <laughs> Mr. Mum. Like our mums. Yeah. <laughs> Straight into the scalp. <laughs> the way we like it, Mum. You Thank little, you. You little bitch. Don't cry. I'll wreck your makeup. Yeah. <laughs>